Hello and welcome to this video on the classic arcade machine, Bubble Bobble. You could be playing this on the arcade machine or you could be playing it on an emulator on your computer. Either way, this is all the secrets on how the game works. Let's begin. So one of the big secrets of Bubble Bobble is that there is a secret room that appears at level 20 and it looks like this. There's another one at level 30 and another one at level 40. In order to get into these rooms all you've got to do is reach the appropriate level without losing a life. So to make things easier we're going to use the power up items. There's a shoe that makes you run faster. There's different colour sweets that give you the ability to fire your bubbles longer distances more frequently or faster. And the secret to Bubble Bobble is knowing how to make those things appear. While you're playing Bubble Bobble, the machine is counting every single thing that you're doing. It's counting the distance that you move, it's counting how many bubbles you fire, how many bubbles pop, how many enemies you kill, and so on. On every level, after 12 seconds, an item appears and the choice of item is determined by which of those counters you've exceeded the target of. So for example, as you walk along the ground a counter increases and when you get to a certain amount of distance the shoe appears. Or if you pop 51 bubbles then the blue sweet appears. If you jump 51 times then the yellow sweet appears and if you blow 51 bubbles the pink sweet appears. Now only one item is going to appear per level and the system is going to look at which counter you've exceeded and then give you the first item it comes across. Here we see the corn, that's the six second item. What that is is an item that only gives you points and the number of points you get is higher based on how quickly you finish the previous level. So because we've done all that bubble firing and bubble popping and jumping around, here on level 2, the first of our sweets appears. Still jumping, getting that jump counter up. Okay, so here we are on level three. We've done lots of jumping, lots of running about, lots of bubble firing. There's our six second item because we spent so long on the last level it only gives us 20 points and there's the yellow sweet which will let us fire the bubbles very quickly now on this level I've made a mistake I'm so bubble happy that I'm just popping everything Luckily, because none of the items have appeared yet, no 12 seconds haven't passed, we haven't lost anything. If the item had appeared and we hadn't picked it up, then we would have had to go back through the counter again before it comes back. This level has lots of letters on it. We can pick up the letters to spell out the word extend. If you pick up three of the same letter, then the cane will appear on the next level. The cane is what triggers the huge item to drop at the end of the level. Still walking left and right trying to get my distance up on the ground but we've already triggered the amount of distance required for the shoe to appear and sure enough there it is 12 seconds in to this level. Oh no! I've just got an extra life by picking up all the letters. That sounds like it's a good thing, but it's not, because Bubble Bobble has dynamic difficulty. The more extra lives you have in reserve, the harder the game becomes. 
expert players tend not to go for the extra lives because it makes the game more difficult. Let's skip through a few levels now. And here we are at level 11. Now level 11 lets us drop off the bottom of the screen and reappear at the top. Also it has water bubbles. This is a good level to increase some more counters. If you drop off the bottom of the screen 15 times, that triggers a potion to appear on the next level. If you pop enough water bubbles, that triggers the umbrella to appear on the next levels. There are three different umbrellas that appear based on how many water bubbles you popped. The more bubbles you popped, the more levels the umbrella will skip. We triggered the falling off the bottom of the screen counter so that we'll now get the potion on this level. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop a few more water bubbles just to trigger the umbrella on the next level. Okay, that's surely enough water bubbles popped to make the umbrella appear. Again, after 12 seconds, we should see it. And there it is, in a really difficult place for us to get to. No chance. Let's just speed through again. Here's a really handy tip. When you play a one player game and you die, immediately press two player to start off a second player into the game. Because if you don't, the game will end instantly like this, taking you straight to the high score table. You can alternate between player one and player two as often as you like, but if you lose that last life, the game jumps to the high score table immediately, so you have to get in quickly to start that other player game. Now let's look at some of the cheat modes that are built into the arcade machine. This one's called Power Up. On this screen, before the demo starts, you need to enter a sequence of button presses, which will allow the game to start like this. See the fast bubbles and the fast movement? Very helpful. In order to do this, you press left jump, left one player start, left fire, left one player start, then quickly insert the coin. You need to do this before the demo starts. You'll know that it's worked because it says power up in the bottom corner of the screen. If you prefer more of a challenge, there's a hard mode. You press start, jump, fire, left, right, jump, start, right, again on the bubble bobble screen before the demo starts. And super mode, fire, jump, fire, jump, fire, jump, right, two player start. You'll see the word super appear on the logo in the top left hand corner of your screen. Finally, I mentioned earlier the dynamic difficulty in this game. It's worth knowing that the arcade board has dip switches on it that the arcade operator can set. These are accessible through MAME's usual menus. My advice is to make sure that your extra lives appear as infrequently as possible, and why not set the game on easy? There's no point in making it more of a challenge than it needs to be. And that's Bubble Bobble. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. Bye for now.